Hi, my name is Dan Lohmeyer, and I'm here to provide an overview of Cisco One software. So let's get right into it. What is Cisco One software? At a high level, you can think of Cisco One as having three key components. First, Cisco One software is a set of software suites that are aligned around how customers consume all of their innovation from Cisco. So think of it as a very simple set of software suites that are oriented around customer use case scenarios. Second, Cisco One software is how we make our innovation very accessible to customers. We've put all of our innovation into these software suites within the infrastructure domain. And then third, Cisco One software gives you additional flexibility in terms of how you consume your licensing. Most importantly, it gives you the ability to keep your software licenses for your infrastructure, even as you refresh your devices. So let me give a good example of Cisco One software in practice. Every company needs a business class wireless access, an environment where they understand who's on their network environment, they understand the characteristics of those different user groups, they can be able to manage their network environment using things like Prime Lifecycle and Prime Assurance. Of course, they need to connect their access points to their wireless controller using those licenses, and then they would have a, want to have a sense of where people are within their network physically using something like a CMX base. Now in the past, you have had to purchase all five of those different features individually. What we've done with Cisco One Software is we've put them all into a single software suite called Foundation for Wireless. Now it's important to note that Cisco One is not just a bundling of these capabilities together. Because with Cisco One, there's two additional value propositions for the end customer. The first is license portability, so that as the customer refreshes the network devices within their environment, they get to keep their software and simply transfer it to that next generation device. The second unique thing is that as Cisco makes updates to these software suites, as an existing customer, you get access to that new innovation. And so in some ways, the value of the software you have from Cisco grows over time because of these new updates and upgrades coming into the software suites. And because of license portability, you get to transfer that software to future generations of our technology. And that can even include moving into virtualized delivery models. So that's one scenario within Cisco One. But when we think about Cisco One overall, there's really three things that differ from how we used to license our software. So in the current model, if you think about how we've traditionally sold our software, you had a lot of different software features. These were sold individually or a la carte. They each had their own price point. And Cisco One, we've constructed this set of software suites, and they were really designed as solutions for how most customers would deploy their technology. The second major difference is that in the past, those software licenses were tied to the underlying hardware. With Cisco One, you get the license portability, that we talked about, where you can transfer those licenses to the next generation of our devices, and you get access to innovation, so that as we add more capabilities into these software suites, you get access to that as well. And then the third main differentiator is that in the past, the software features were really tied to that device. When you refresh that device, you had to purchase those licenses over again. With Cisco One software, the licenses really are perpetual because of the license portability, we're also making some of the technology available in a subscription-based model, so you can pay for it over time. And then for companies who want to have enterprise-wide coverage of all of Cisco's software capabilities, you can use an enterprise agreement and move to enterprise-wide coverage using that contractual structure. So again, at a very high level, think of Cisco One software as just a more valuable and easier way of consuming Cisco software. Now, when you think about this from a customer perspective, there's a range of benefits across the customer lifecycle. When you first make that purchase, the way that these suites are designed, they're outcome-based on the most relevant use cases. They're very simple. And the way that we did the pricing is you get better together pricing. So you save money by moving from buying a lot of individual licenses to a full software suite. Over time, as you deploy the capabilities, it's easier to do. You get access to major upgrades that are added into the software suite, and a lot of Cisco's innovation is actually going into improved management, configuration, and automation of the network environment. So it makes it easier to use the software over time as well. And then third, when you get to refresh the underlying devices and you move to that next generation device, because you can transfer the software over, thanks to license portability, it actually saves you money at the refresh time. 
and that in some cases may actually allow you to refresh your underlying infrastructure more often because you don't have to pay for the software, you just transfer that going forward. So that's Cisco One Software from a customer perspective. There's a lot of momentum with Cisco One. We launched it a little bit over two years ago, and what you can see on this visual are all of the new capabilities, the new technologies that have been added to Cisco One since it was launched in 2015. Things like ACI Fabric in the data center on the Nexus 9K portfolio, Tetration Analytics within the data center on the compute side, even new virtualized delivery models like Enterprise NFV, where you can now deploy your virtualized routing, firewall, wireless controller on a XA6-based architecture. We're just getting started with 2017. We've added some new automation capabilities. And of course, there's lots more to come. So when you think of Cisco One software, think of it as a way that we're making our innovation available to you in a more seamless fashion. Now, in terms of the number of devices that you can run Cisco One software on, it really covers the gamut of our infrastructure portfolio. So you'll see the Callus product line in there, our wireless controllers and access points, our routing portfolio, the Nexus portfolio in the data center, our MDS storage switches, UCS, our ASA and Firepower firewalls, even IoT and Tetration. So it's very broad, it essentially encompasses Cisco's infrastructure portfolio. Now, I mentioned it's been about two years since we launched Cisco One in 2015, and since then we've accumulated over 16,000 customers who have now moved to the Cisco One software model. In fact, 98% of the Fortune 100 have already purchased and consumed Cisco One software. So we're seeing a lot of traction. Again, we believe that because it provides a very simple way to get access to Cisco's innovation, we think that you and your customer will find it compelling as well. I hope you found this overview of Cisco One Software helpful. If you'd like to find out more information, you can either talk to your Cisco account team, your partner, or visit us at www.cisco.com/go/one. Thanks for watching.